Fight fans, up next, four more rounds of professional boxing in the King of Sparta Bantamweight Tournament. Fighting first, out of the red corner, Corey Galloway. Some Galloway fans here, yeah. And his opponent out of the blue corner, Keegan Blanco. Your referee for our second tournament fight, Curtis Thrasher. Okay, gentlemen, you received your instructions earlier in the dressing room. Expect you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Right now, we're going to touch gloves. Good luck. Galloway in the black trunks has the print all across them thanking his sponsors. Facing off against Blanco, excuse me, Blanco has the print on his trunks. Galloway, black trunks, gold shoes. Good right hand lands crushingly for Galloway. Blanco seemingly none the worse for wear. Four three minute rounds, professional boxing. Fight number two of the tournament. Somebody gonna go on to face Mr. Josh Huber. And uh, of course, as I've referenced a number of times, next fight, step it up a little bit. Throw some feet in there, make it truly punchy kicky time as it will be kickboxing to advance in the tournament.
Blanco flurried nicely when he had Galloway against the ropes there. Galloway, very calm, very collected. Back against the ropes, but guard high, moving his head. Good check hook there lands for Mr. Galloway. Blanco showing good head movement of his own tonight, but a couple of times he's taken some hard shots. Corner of Galloway asking for work from the jab. They want him to use the jab to steer his opponent into the right hand. Galloway steps forward, or excuse me, Blanco steps forward into Galloway's range when he throws. Being the longer, taller fighter might benefit a little bit by managing that distance, staying on the outside, realizing he doesn't have to step into his opponent's range to have contact. And Galloway, a little showmanship there. And again, Galloway, uh, we're gonna go past showmanship and start to call it taunting here in just a second. Blanco steps forward, lands some hard shots. Galloway takes a well. Good chin on both these fighters. Blanco looking for a little retribution from the taunts. 10 second clacker sounded. I thought we were gonna have a beautiful flurry to end, but they get tied up and there's the bell. Like fans were treated to a second round. Yo, yo. We'd like to thank Brandon Dodge this evening, one of our great sponsors. If you're looking for a car, Brandon Dodge is the place to go. On the replay here, we're seeing when Blanco had a moment where his head slipped outside the ropes and Galloway landed well once he brought himself back in and the taunting began right there. So entertaining for the fans. Whistle sounds to get seconds out and Galloway jumps up off his stool and goes right to the middle of the ring. I am ready, sir, is what he is saying. Former Sparta Combat League heavyweight fighter Steven Poprocki owns DCO MMA Gym. He's in the corner of Blanco tonight. See if he gave him the advice to try to manage that distance a little more. Good footwork out of both these guys tonight. Working real circular, not allowing themselves to be a stationary target. It's helped out Blanco a number of times when he's taking a shot, but he was moving away from it so it didn't land to its fullest effect. So spoke of managing the distance by Blanco, Galloway doing a masterful job of it. Being in, landing, having his opponent right at the end of the shots where they've got the most power and the most effect. And then he's back out of range. Or when Blanco moves in, occasionally we've seen Galloway step forward himself, get chest to chest to shut down some of the punching activity. Round one, the corner of Galloway was asking for more work from the jab. And he sets that one, two up with the jab. Nicely done by Mr. Galloway. Blanco closes in, ties it up. Referee Curtis Thrasher says, gentlemen, watch your heads, please. And some deep breathing by Mr. Blanco. Saw oh, Galloway glance down momentarily. Looked like he was taking a look at the footwork of Blanco. See if he could get a read on where his opponent might be going. Seasoned, seasoned fighter is Mr. Galloway. Get over there. Get over there. 
Quick warning by Curtis Thrasher to keep those blows up. Of course, a little later on, we'll see strikes to the legs being allowed. Kick to the legs in the kickboxing fights. And should you desire to in the MMA fight in the finals, you can strike to the legs with punches and elbows and kicks and knees. Ten second clacker sounded. There's a good flare. Oh, and that was a late shot by Galloway. I'm surprised he didn't get a little talking to from the referee. If you're in. Checking out the replay here. Seeing Blanco probing with the jab as his corner had asked him to. And Galloway, we saw what I've been talking about where he steps forward with his punches there. Obviously, you get more power on your punches, but Galloway having a read on that and doing really nicely with his counters. Into the third. Blanco gives himself a couple of head punches to get the round started. Galloway getting more and more comfortable in there as he backs away now. He's starting to drop his hands. Of course, not something any coach ever wants to see, but Galloway just starting to feel a well. And Meets Blanco nicely with the right hand as Blanco tried to step in. to defense here, letting himself be back toward the ropes, letting his feet be a little bit more stationary. It's a tough spot. Most of the time when you've tried to move forward this evening, you've been hit with a counter. It definitely will make you a little gun shy, although every punch that every fighter has landed on the other, they've, they've all worn them well. But I can see now Blanco's mouth open just a little bit. That's Dangerous way for a fighter to be. Take a shot on there with your mouth open and more chance of sustaining a jaw injury. Potentially a knockout. A little bit over a minute left here. Blanco trying to counter back. Just doesn't quite seem to have the speed that Galloway has going into the later rounds here. Corner of Galloway saying he's hurt. Blanco continues to show he's well within the fight. Less than 30 seconds left. Galloway trying to pour it on. Blanco stays in his range, lands a shot. Nice uh, right hand on the way out there by Blanco. 10 second clacker sounded. Couple of final blows there to end the round. Take it to the fourth and final round here. If you're in the market for a new home, 
Dynamic Mortgage Concepts is the place to look. We'd like and to thank them for the one of our sponsors. here. See again, Galloway just doing a really, really nice job of managing that distance. out with his hands raised. He's feeling it. Referee Curtis Thrasher calls him to the center. Galloway ready to go, doesn't even let Blanco step forward out of his corner. Working that jab just like his corner's been asking him to. Right, left by Blanco, possibly his best two punches of the fight, body head, but Galloway doesn't seem to care and just continues to work his feet forward. Blanco, a little job managing, a little better job managing the distance at the end of that combination. And you see it there, Blanco threw his punches and then was out of the range, so I have a feeling maybe the corner of Mr. Blanco is in his ear about that. Stiff jab lands for Blanco as he switches stance when Galloway tried to come in. Hard shot landed just barely above the belt line there. Blanco's hands starting to come down a little bit too from where they had been earlier in the fight. See if Galloway's able to take note of that and take advantage. But speaking of dropping hands, Galloway just inviting Blanco to step forward, knowing that he, Galloway, has the speed advantage. About a minute left here. Corner of Galloway, letting him know he's in the home stretch. Final minute of the fight, referee Curtis Thrasher in there is always close, taking a good look at it. Blanco's taking a lot of shots tonight, but there's never been even the tiniest little stagger in his footwork. Doesn't seem to have really been hurt at all. His head's moved around a little bit from a couple of the shots, but never seemed to have to back off or anything. Galloway signaling that there was a headbutt there. Referee tells the fighters, Let's keep it all legal, please, gentlemen. Blanco trying to work his way in and out. Galloway able to follow him with that nice footwork. 10 second clacker sounded. And we are going to the judges once again. Fight fans, your judges have given us their decision. Judge Tyrone Short scores about 40-36. Judge Eric Hines also 40-36. Judge Joseph Mason scores about 40-36. Your winner by unanimous decision, 
Corey Galloway. We will see Mr. Galloway in the kickboxing section of the tournament. I'm back here now with Corey Galloway, who just won the first round of the King of Sparta tournament. Corey, this was your professional boxing debut. Your boxing was really sharp in there. What did you do to prepare for limiting your fighting to just striking? Um, I didn't change much, just training as always. Uh, I'm always ready. I love to stand and trade, so I think I'm always ready for a boxing fight. So it was just good to uh, not have to worry about anything but throwing hands. It was a lot of fun. That was a pretty hard-fought fight. Um, do you think it's going to affect your endurance in the next two rounds of fighting? No, I feel fine. Um, I think it warmed me up pretty good. He never landed anything hard, just a few slapping shots. I didn't really take any real damage. Uh, I feel great. I'm ready to go again. What's the game plan for round number two, kickboxing? <laughs> take him out as fast as possible. Same thing. Always a good game plan to finish it early. Congrats on your boxing win tonight. We'll look forward to seeing you in round two. Cool.